and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best set in Madden. Now, guys, as you guys know, you guys, if you guys are loyal subs, you guys already know what's good with this. You guys already know the sets I like, the playoff promos here, which means, as per usual, there's a new set that I like. But I know you guys like to hear the math breakdown, kind of my thought process, and why I like to do this thing as, as it is. So, I'm going to be going over the new set, doing the math breakdown, kind of the... There's always three methods. There's method one, two, and three. I'll go over each one and kind of go over why this is my favorite set in the game which method I think you should take, and kind of how this benefits you guys. Now, there'll be plenty more just like this throughout the year. There always is, and I'm always going to cover them because I really do love these sets. Now, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys, come join the family. And by the way, Noti Gang, you guys have been going crazy, crazy strong this week. So let's keep it going. Once you get here, comment down below, Noti Gang, and like the video. Can we get 500 likes in this video? Noti Gang's got to go strong. But that's about it, guys. Let's get into this video. So coming on over to the sets, the brand new set is going to be obviously the playoff sets. Now there's two to choose from, there's AFC and NFC. So before we even go into the method of the set, we gotta pick which one we wanna do because it varies based on what player you want. From what I'm told, you can only pick from the conference that you end up actually doing. So the NFC, or I mean the AFC is Kevin Bayard, Tremaine Edmonds, Deshaun Watson, Travis Kelsey, Stephon Gilmore, and Ronnie Stanley. Now the NFC, is Marshawn Lynch, D Ford, Devonta Adams, Drew Brees, Daniel Hunter, Brandon Brooks. So in the case of the NFC, I think you definitely want Daniel Hunter and Brandon Brooks. And then for the third or for the third guy, I don't know if you'd want Brees, Adams, Ford, or Marshawn Lynch. Probably Ford. I don't really see the other three guys being that useful. Maybe Brees. Now for the AFC, you're gonna want Ronnie Stanley. You're gonna want maybe Tremaine Edmonds. And I mean, I think honestly the AFC is looking pretty solid. You could start Stanley, you could start Gilmore, you could start Kelsey, you could start Watson, Edmonds, and Bayard. In the case of the NFC, I really only think you're really starting Breeze and Hunter. I mean, uh, Brandon Brooks and Hunter. So maybe it's up to you guys. Either way, it still applies. I'm going to be focusing on the AFC because I do prefer Champ Bailey, although you're going to probably sell him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think I do like the return from the AFC players more. So getting into the set, any 95 overall AFC wildcard player is going to be used for to complete the set. So when you go into this, it says exchange three AFC playoff heroes to earn Legends of the Playoffs Champ Bailey, his power-up item, and a fantasy pack containing your choice of three net AFC players. So there is, <coughs> excuse me, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six per conference. You can choose three out of the six. It doesn't matter who you put in, you can choose any three. So if you go check out these prices, they approximately go, the cheapest ones go for about 300k a piece. Now, as per usual, you can always snipe them out for a little bit less, so do not buy them for 300k a piece. Filter them out. Let's say by ours, the cheapest filter brought by Tide, you can probably find them for like 180, 285, give or take. 285 is where <clears throat> I've been consistently finding them if you just sit there a little bit. Times that by three. So the set as a whole, so the set as a whole is going to cost you 855,000 coins. So once you complete this set, you're going to get back a few things. You're gonna get back a, you're gonna get back a whole reward slate. It's gonna be the 96 Champ Bailey, power up champ bailey and a pack where you can choose three out of the six now before we get into who to choose i'm gonna go over the math of it so 855k now remember champ bailey goes for about 500k give or take 485 depending if you sell them at night you can sell them for about 500k after reduction that's 450,000 coins so you take the 855,000 coins and you subtract 450,000 coins from it which leaves you with a grand total of 405k so it's gonna do the whole set you end up with about 405k. Now also subtract the 5k first power up. 400,000 clean is what it's going to cost you to do this set. Now what does 400,000 coins end up netting you? It nets you three AFC heroes. Now if you remember, an AFC hero goes for 300k. So let's say you're like, oh, I'm a Ravens fan. I'm buying Ronnie Stanley. For an extra 100k more, you can get two of them. It's like it's like buy one pair of jeans gets you free. I'm telling you guys, this is the best way to go about doing these sets. So let's say you get if you're gonna buy one, especially if you're gonna buy one anyways and power them up. Do the set. I cannot stress this enough. If you're gonna buy Kelsey anyways and power him up, do the sex for 100k more. You get two more 95 overalls, which go a long way in increasing your overall for your team and helping you compete online. The extra 100k is nothing in comparison to what you're getting. Now let's say you didn't even want one to begin with. So 400k for 395s. That in essence means that you're paying 133,000 coins for each 95 overall. That is a super good deal. Now remember, there's all that's method one. Method one is you do the set. 
you sell champ alien his power up and you keep the three nats method two is the one that you can you can get rid of some of the ones you don't want so let's say well before we get into method two let's pick the players guys in my opinion you definitely want ronnie stanley a, a solid lineman's always a solid idea i'm pers i'm not a big fan of tremaine Edmonds because i already have shazier and bush for free in my opinion i'd probably do ronnie stanley probably kelsey because you can always have one to three tight ends and gilmore i'd probably do like stanley gilmore and kelsey i mean Tremaine, kevin Byer is not bad but i have taylor I think that these three are here at the top ones to do for me personally because Kelsey's depth, Gilmore's depth, and Stanley's a position I don't want to pay for. So that, that works for me. Now, let's say you do that, right? But let's say you only want to keep this method too, by the way. You only want to keep Ronnie Stanley. You don't want the you don't want the other two guys. So let's say I don't want to keep Ronnie Stanley. So let's, let's go back to our initial math. 855,000, sorry. Minus, you sell Champ Bailey for 450k after reduction. Minus 5k, you end up at 400,000 coins again. Now you have Stanley... You have Kelsey, and you have the third guy, whoever you choose. Now, the way method two works is purely based off converting training. So, let's say these guys go for a training value of approximately, let's see right here. They go for a training value of 25,000 coins. Remember, they are not those, so you're only be getting half the value back. So, you get approximately like 12,500, give or take. They'll be a little bit more, like 12,600, just about. So, if you quick sell the other two guys, right? You end up with just about, you end up with exactly 25,200. So you keep Stanley, you end up with 25,200. So now you have 400K debt, a Ronnie Stanley and 25,200 25, trading. So for a direct coin conversion, you could do that. The trading per coin, coins per trading right now is like 12 coins per, 11 coins per. So 12 times 25,200. You're essentially in trading, getting back 302,000 coins. So in theory, it only costs you about 100K to get ronnie stanley now if you really want to convert if you want to convert it in, in another way think about it this way if you quick sell the other two you can potentially just about get this 95 overall playoff hero which guarantees you a 300k card so let's say you sold you back at 855,000, right and you have three players in champ bailey you subtract the champ bailey for 450k you end up at 400k again now you quick sell two of them, you do a playoff hero. Now you sell a playoff hero, you subtract around after reduction, you sell them for like 315, 310, depending on when you sell them. You probably end up around like 280. Now, now this is the overall price, as you guys can see right here. You guys probably can't see because the focus, but you get the point. 120K, 120,000 coins for a playoff hero. Guys, that's method two. Now this is method three. Method three isn't always the smartest. It really always just depends on the way you could do it method three is where you keep like two of them and you keep champ like you can method two, method three is where you keep all like you keep champ and you keep let's say one nap player so if you keep pit champ and one nap player at 855k minus the 300k for the natural sell you end up with 555,000 coins and you get champ and a nap player again all solid option so method one you get three nap players for 400k great value method two you get one nap player for 120k again great so so far you're getting 95 overalls for steals or method three you get champ bailey and a nap player for about 555k that's really not bad i think every method is very very usable very great to do now personally method two is looking hella solid right now if you guys really like if you want ronnie stanley and you're just like i really don't want to pay 300k for a card method two is looking crazy solid just damn near free. i mean i'm not gonna say it's free but 120k for a 95 overall play that's a steal that's like highway robbery something you have to do and then method one is where you keep all three for 400k it really depends at the end of the day now you could always just if you want to just if you only want two players you could do method two twice you can just pick up the one player get it done and then redo it again method two twice you can always do that and you end up like 240k for two of them honestly either way you do it it's very very solid i hope this i hope this set helps you I hope this method helps you and I'm going to go back over there to the set just real quick for you AFC and NFC guys. So I can give you guys my opinion in case you guys are wondering. So NFC, what cards not to keep? Like I said, I think Daniel Hunter and Brandon Brooks. Those are the two you want to keep. The, the third one's up to you. But Daniel Hunter and Brandon Brooks are must-haves. And then AFC, Ronnie Stanley and I think Gilmore are must-haves. And then the rest is, is optional. I mean, I think I'd go Kelsey, Byers, Edmonds. I personally wouldn't go Watson. That's up to you guys. He's a great quarterback but doesn't get a power up yet. As well as Bayard and Edmonds. I mean, Edmonds is depth, right? So I think Ronnie Stanley, Gilmore, Kelsey, Edmonds, and then Watson and Bayard are last. It's up to you guys because they're not depth positions. But you can make do as you want with that.
But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope this does help you guys. Honestly, the way this math works out is pretty beneficial for most most players. I hope I hope you guys can use this. And if you do, comment down below. Comment down below also what AFC or NFC play, what set you're gonna do, and who you plan to take from that set. You probably help out a lot of people who are really stuck on who to pick, considering. I know people are going to be really uh, confused on who to end up taking from this. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this method does help you or you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Come join the family. We're 250 subs away from 17,000. So we're super close. Comment down below, like I said. And you know what, gang, if you're still here or you're still watching to this point, anyone, smash the like button. Can we get 500 likes on this video? And as well as comment down below if you made it this far in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.